Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and happy almost 2023. It is crazy to even say that, but today I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my favorites from Amazon over the past year. I cannot believe it's the end of the year. This year literally flew by and I feel like every single year I say that and it just keeps getting faster. I have a bunch of different things in different categories, so I'm gonna try to keep this video like moving along and not dwell on like items very long just so the video doesn't turn out to be super, super long. But I have everything from fashion stuff, beauty, travel, home, and a couple of toddler things. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you so much to Amazon for sponsoring today's video. I could not leave out my favorite bodysuits from Amazon. I have ordered ones from Aritzia, from Abercrombie like more expensive brands and these are just my favorite because they're super thin and stretchy and comfortable and they are super affordable so I have it in this nude color white and black and if you're not into bodysuits I have some layering mock neck long sleeve shirts that are very similar in like the quality with like that really buttery soft material but they just don't have the snaps on the bottom um, and I love these as well I have ordered so many pairs of loungewear from Amazon this year you guys but my number one favorite has been this one it's a knit material so it's definitely more for the cooler months but it's not super super thick where it's gonna like sweat you out I have been wearing this so much over the past couple months since it started getting cooler and it comes in several colors. I just got the black, but it's just such a good one. This has been a favorite for actually a couple of years. I got a fresh one this year since I loved it so much. It's the drop um, black ribbed sweater dress and it just, I love the length of it. It's so good to pair with leggings and sneakers and boots and just like a throw on and go piece. It has these really nice balloon sleeves and the material is not too thick. It's just so comfy and easy, so I had to mention this as well. Stripes are super in this year, you guys, and so whenever I found this sweater, I fell in love. I love the little shoulder details. I even got it in the white, which is what I'm wearing today. This has been one of my favorite sweaters of this year. Could not do a 2022 favorites without my favorite jersey hijab from Vol Chic that I get on Amazon. This is the color vanilla. I wear this all the time. It's an instant jersey, so you just basically like put your head through the hole and then you wrap it around once and it is so easy. This is like my going to run errands hijab, going to pick up Elena. Like I sometimes like feel like it's kind of like the hijab I throw on whenever I just need to throw on a hijab, but it's also very cute and like put together and it comes in a couple of colors, black, navy, and like a blush tone, but this color just matches everything. So it's a good one. This was the year that everyone discovered the fashion tape for hijab, so I had to mention it. I'm wearing it today, it's just like right on top of my under cap, and then it just doesn't budge. You don't need pins. It's amazing. I use it for my chiffon, and I, I also use it for the modal whenever I wear it too, and just allows you to create that more effortless, looser looking hijab style without it flying everywhere. I've literally used this tape whenever I was going to the beach and like wind and it does not budge, so such a good one. It comes in these little strips, so it's really easy to just like place on your hijab cap like that, and so if you haven't tried that little hack yet, you definitely need to. I also wanted to mention my rings in this category as well, which I will try to put like a picture on screen, but I found these gorgeous little eternity bands from Amazon that are super inexpensive, but they look so good and sparkly and they photograph so well. I wore them in my pregnancy announcement um, shoe. It just gave a statement, but it's they're so elegant. And then to go along with jewelry, I wanted to show you guys the diamond dazzle stick that I got this year. It is such a good little ring cleaner, so you do have to use it underneath like with water um, to activate it, but you just like scrub your rings and then you like rinse them under the water and they are so sparkly and it's so easy. So you could literally just like take this on the go with you. I could not not mention the cloud sandals of 2022, you guys. These were just like everyone's favorite over the summer. And now that I'm pregnant, I'm definitely gonna be wearing these 
throughout the spring summer of this year as well because I wish that I would have had these for my last pregnancy. They are so comfy and whenever you get like swollen like that, you just want to like throw your feet in something like really comfortable. If you're pregnant, you need these. And then also they're just super nice as pool slides. They're great as just house shoes too. I know a lot of people that just wear them around their house just because they're really comfortable. So anyways, if you don't have a pair of these yet, just trust me, they're so good. Also wanted to mention my favorite sunglasses of the year from Amazon as well. These are really just nice cat eye, really flattering for basically any face shape. So if you need a new good pair of sunnies, this is a really good one as well. Next, moving on to home, I have some really good items, starting with this blanket that is literally like a dupe for my favorite Barefoot Dreams blanket. It is so buttery soft, and the only difference I would say to my Barefoot Dreams is that it might be a little bit thinner, but honestly, I like that because it's just great for all year round. I have the smaller one, which I believe is around $25, and it is a great size even like Omar and I can both use this when we're like cuddled on the couch and Elena literally sleeps with this all the time too just because it's so soft so anyways if you're looking for like a nice gift or you just need like some new throw blankets for your house this is such a good one 2022 is the year I discovered these electric lighters you can charge them by USB so they never run out of lighter fluid and they create this like little laser beam light in there. It lights your candles super, super fast. You just have to remember to charge it, but the battery or yeah, the charge lasts a long, long time with these. So love this. A couple of kitchen items. So I actually only have one of these, but I want to get a, like a bunch more to make a full set because right now I feel like I don't have a good set of glasses whenever guests come over i kind of give them all mismatched glasses for tea but this one is so beautiful this pleated design is super popular and trending this year and i love that this one comes with a little lid or it can also act as a coaster this is part of a big set of nesting bowls i just brought one in here but they come in like really big like it, the biggest one is pretty big and then they are they go down to like really small sizes and they come with these little lids, which I also love the color of the lids too. But they're just really convenient because I feel like a lot of these stainless steel mixing bowls, you have to use plastic wrap, but these come with their own like sealed tight lids. So this has been a really great investment for my kitchen. This is my emotional support water bottle. I think I got that term from Lauren because this comes with me everywhere. This is just like my favorite. And I am team Stanley, but I am not the Stanley girl with a big straw. I like the flip out straw because you can close it and it doesn't leak. And it's great whenever I want to just throw this in my tote bag or whatever. I love that it fits in my car and I can just like hold it with the handle and it's just great. So if you guys are in need of a good insulated cup that keeps your drinks really cold, this is my favorite. The last couple of home things, I'm pretty sure this is always in my favorites videos, but this is my favorite steamer and I always get asked about which steamer I use and I've had this one for probably three, if not four years. It's so good, it's the Turbo Extreme by Conair and I use this thing literally every single day for steaming my clothes at home. I have a travel one that I'll share with you guys in a little bit. And we did bring this whole carpet cleaner in here to show you guys, but this has been my favorite home purchase of 2022. Like literally I use this thing at least once a week because of Elena spilling food and whatnot all over our couch and our rug, but it's just so good. I just use the Bissell cleaner that it comes with. It just gets out stains and food and whatnot out of your carpet or couches or just upholstery in general so well and it's so satisfying moving on to travel 2022 was the year that i not necessarily traveled a lot i traveled more in the past but this was the year that i perfected my travel situation with like packing and stuff i found all the best organization things for my suitcase so this is like probably my favorite one this is the toiletry organizer the lifesaver because you can hang it on a hook or the back of the door and you can keep all of your toiletries off of the counter and it fits so much i have the large size i fit me elena and omar stuff all in here and it's just so convenient and it just 
like zips up into like a smaller bag um, it comes in several colors I have it in black and I have it in this really cute little nude pink but if you travel at all you need this bag next up is my travel mirror I love this thing it has a little light so and it has different shades of light too so depending on what your lighting looks like in your room because you never know with like hotels and Airbnbs what kind of lighting you're gonna get in order to do your makeup and this is just so nice to be able to have and be able to see properly so you don't look crazy whenever you go out but I like it because it can just fold up and it's protected that fits really good inside my makeup bag I love this clear makeup case you could use it for basically anything I just like to put my makeup in here but you could do toiletries or whatever but I just love that you can kind of see what's inside and this does come in a couple of colors I got this little pill organizer because I have to bring like my fiber with me whenever I travel just like my multivitamins and stuff and this is just the cutest little size if you're going on a short trip it's not great for long trips but I would say if it's like a weekend trip or something or even just a few days this is a great a little thing to have if you're always bringing your capsules with you I got this little jewelry organizer and speaking of that I also got my travel ring this year which I talked to you guys so much about this looks pretty much identical to my real ring but I do not travel with my real ring, I accidentally left my wedding band, not my big engagement ring, in a hotel room one time and I was devastated and since then I was like I'm never traveling with my real jewelry ever again so this is a really beautiful one and then again this travel jewelry case is really cute to bring all your stuff in this is actually a beauty blender holder which is so nice because then your beauty blender isn't getting all the rest of your travel makeup all dirty so I love 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 this Elena calls it an egg <laughs> just fun fact last travel essential that I discovered this year was my travel steamer I love how compact it is it um, folds up like that but that is what it looks like when you unfold it we have the little water container that's just super easy to twist on and off and it works just as good as my big one it's just a little bit smaller which is why I don't use it as much as home at home because it just takes a little bit longer so so good for travel next moving on to makeup and beauty so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all my Amazon beauty favorites obviously this is not like my whole routine but not everything in my routine you can get on Amazon and I don't want to I don't want to share with you guys things that you would have to pay more for on Amazon so these are the things that I do order on Amazon that are um, either a little bit cheaper or the same price and they're just easy because you can just prime it so first off is it cosmetics I love the CC nude glow and the CC illumination this is the year I think they might have come out with the CC nude glow this year it's actually more of like a medium buildable coverage I keep calling it a light coverage Coverage. that's because this one is like super full full coverage compared to this one it's like I guess li like a lot lighter so if you are interested in like that really like dewy lightweight like skin tint type of look but you want just like a little bit more coverage the CC nude glow is beautiful and it's just like a medium coverage like I said but it's not too too much I use the CC illumination like full coverage one whenever I need like a lot of coverage whenever I'm taking pictures and videos I think I'm, I'm actually wearing actually I mixed both of these today but I love doing this whenever I have photo shoots and I need my skin to look perfect I would definitely wear this to a wedding um, it's just so so beautiful and glowy and I am in the shade fair light in both of these as for concealer my favorite one of the year was the Kosas revealer concealer I'm in the shade 03 W it is so glowy and beautiful and has the most beautiful coverage it is I don't know if they consider it a full coverage but I would definitely say it's at least medium to buildable coverage and it's just so stunning favorite bronzer hands down this year is the milk makeup bronzer stick in baked it is so beautiful on so many skin tones I know that even Lauren she has a much cooler skin tone than me she still uses this one and what I like to do is I like to put it on my brush first and then I take my brush and I apply it that way just so it's a little bit less harsh and a little softer and it's just so pretty favorite brow gel oh, is the Kosas clear brow gel it looks like you have your eyebrows laminated it is so good but they're not too holding where they feel crunchy or like hard which I don't like that feeling or that look either but it's just just enough 
to hold them in place. So I love this one. My telescopic mascara, this one is not just for 2022. I've loved this for years and years and years, but I had to mention it because I get this on Amazon and it is literally like my ride or die. Favorite lip gloss from Amazon, you guys, is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline in the color Stone. It's like a nude pink, but with like a little bit of brown in it. It is so, so beautiful. I get all of my Real Technique sponges on Amazon. This is just my favorite sponge that I use to blend out my concealer. And then re recently I've been using these little powder puffs to blend out my powder under my eyes and it really just makes sure everything is so smooth. If you haven't tried these little powder puffs, they've been like all over TikTok and I just had to try it and it's so, so good. Moving on to like hair and some self-care products. So this is my little hair towel. I use this a lot whenever I'm creating content for you guys to cover up my hair, but I also really like it because it's super gentle on your hair. It's like a microfiber material. So whenever you are drying your hair, it does not make it like pull or cause any breakage at all. It is so, so nice. I also want to share a few more hair products. So this is my little shampoo brush. I love this thing. I use it every single time I shampoo my hair and it just really allows you to just scrub your scalp. It just makes your hair feel so clean. These are silicone so they're like very soft and not like they're not gonna like scratch your head which is what I thought whenever I first saw this but it's just really really nice to like really get in there and also when you have a lot of hair I feel like I'm using a lot of like arm strength to like get to the back of my hair and this just really helps you get in there really well my two favorite hair products for frizz so if you struggle with curly or frizzy wavy hair then these two products i think you will love briogeo farewell frizz this is a leave-in conditioner i put this on after the shower i also use this on elena's curls and it makes them look so beautiful and it also smells really good i only use this probably a couple times a month but when it's whenever my hair really needs some love so this is the color wow dream coat what I do is on damp hair, I will literally just drench my hair in this product. And I just actually this year <laughs> realized how to use this product properly. So you have to drench your hair, then you blow dry it in. So blow drying it actually activates the product. Just like um, whenever I get my Brazilian blowout done, heat actually activates that product as well. So it's kind of the same concept. So it kind of reminds me of getting like a mini Brazilian blowout at home. It makes your hair super shiny and less frizzy. I saw a TikTok ad for this and he was literally rolling water off the girl's hair like it was waterproof. So anyways, it works really, really well for frizz. Next up, my favorite facial razors. This is a little bit more on, it's not pricey. I would say it's probably like 20 something dollars, but it's a lot more expensive than my little Tinkle razors that I used to get on Amazon that were like $5, but you can really tell the quality difference. It's just a lot smoother, just better quality. So if you're looking for a really nice facial razor, then would re recommend this one. I love my exfoliation. So these two are my rider dyes as well. I can't use this one anymore now that I'm pregnant because it contains salicylic acid. This is the Paula's Choice 2% VHA exfoliating liquid. It's great for breakouts, but I also just love it for smoothing out the skin's texture. It is so nice. And then my good old Good Jeans that I've used for years. I love this. I do use this while I'm pregnant because the lactic acid is safe for pregnancy and it is just so nice for smoothing out the complexion. Could not leave out my Laneige. That is just my ride or die. I love the vanilla and it just makes my lips so soft. I've been living off of this stuff, especially after being sick and just needing my my lips to heal after. It smells so good after um, just like mouth breathing. <laughs> As you guys can tell, I'm getting over the flu. So anyways, this has just been a lifesaver this cold weather season. I just have a couple of toddler things to share with you guys at the end of this video that were just favorites this year, including my favorite toddler PJs for Elena. It comes in a set and I'm telling you guys, if you have a toddler, these are the best. Regardless of where I have gotten pajamas, these are always the softest and they are 20 bucks for the set. Come in a ton of colors. They're so stretchy, so buttery soft and thin. So they're perfect for all year round. Literally, 
uh, this is all I want Elena to sleep in because they are so good. These are her little straw cups. They're definitely not spill proof. That's the only downside, but I like that they're insulated because I like to put her smoothies in this. And I also put water and stuff. She's getting a little bit better about not spilling stuff now that she's getting a little bit older. But this comes in a set of a bunch of cute little pastel colors. I really love this, especially for smoothies. Lastly is my diaper bag that I still use. This was the best investment whenever um, I had Elena. I got the freshly picked backpack. I have used it literally every single day since she was born. It's not as stuffed now because she doesn't need as many like little things now that she's not a newborn anymore, but I still put extra pair of clothes, all her diapers, wipes, everything. It fits so much. Snacks. So if you're looking for a good diaper bag, then this is my favorite and I have the color birch. That was everything, all my favorites from Amazon from 2022. If you guys have any favorites from the year that I missed or that I need to check out, please leave it down below in the comments because I'm always looking for good Amazon finds and you guys always have good recommendations as well. So thank you guys so much again and happy 2023. I hope you guys have a wonderful new year and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.